That's right, Aaron. We're talking about Gloria De La Rosa, and she tells us she's stepping back from politics completely. So that's the mayoral race, as well as when her term ends on council in October. The decision wasn't easy. She tells us it was her family is the ultimate reason why she's withdrawing. After 22 years, they, they have approached me and said, Grandma, great grandma, mother, we need you. We need your time. Gloria De La Rosa, born and raised in Soledad, yet Salinas seasoned since early adulthood, spent the last 22 years on Salinas City Council from 1993 to 1995. Again, from 2000 to 2020, she represents District 4, a section of Salinas brimming with neighborly pockets, the Boys and Girls Club, the Rodeo Grounds, DMV, Chinatown District. But now she says she's done with politics. This was a, a difficult decision to make um, because I, I had a lot of support from the community. De La Rosa considered running for mayor of Salinas, hoping to focus on rebuilding the city's economy while using her medical background as a retired nurse. Hearing the businesses, and I was going to really, really work hard to really promote and, and continue to support them, really strengthen those businesses and, and you know, attract once this goes away, attract some new businesses that are going to bring good paying jobs to Salinas. The council member says before her term is up in October, she has goals. We need to do a massive, intense education, even if it's a flyer. Still in the race is her former colleague, Kimberly Craig, along with LULAC President Chris Barrera. De La Rosa is not commenting on support for either, but hopes to see her seat and the mayor's filled with someone focused. They have a lot of critical decisions that, that are coming up that they need to make. Yeah, because it's affecting everyone. De La Rosa says she is planning to stay connected with the city here versus um, through her various roles on different boards here in the community. And we also do have calls into Barrera, and he hasn't gotten back with us yet. We will tell you when he does. For now, reporting live in Salinas, I'm Melania Latang, KSVW Action News 8.